Hello world, this is Coco Room, Heavenly Garden, in the middle of Kamagasaki. Oh, hello world, this is Coco Room and I'm Dan. So right now I'm just at this event where we'll be listening to some haiku poetry at Coco Room and we'll be making some haiku poetry later on as well. Yeah, so I'll just be commenting on the event as we go on. Yeah, I hope everyone will enjoy listening to it. So at today's event, there's two teachers. One's called Masaru, who's a retired nurse. And yeah, he's a really good poet, I've heard. Yeah, he specializes in freestyle haiku poetry, which is what we'll be doing most of today. So it'll be really exciting. There's also a young man in a wheelchair who I've heard is a really decent poet as well. And his style is more classical, which I didn't expect because he's so young. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to hear what they've got to teach us to, at this session. Okay, so right now, after a brief explanation of what Kamage is, as discussed in previous episodes, it's a program that's run by Coco Room that's like... Well, so Kamage, if you remember, is the Kamagasaki University of the Arts, and it's a platform for... Watame! It, yeah, it's a program that teaches some ex-day laborers and people around the Kamagasaki area to, yeah, meet society through self-expression, and that helps them cut out of isolation because art is. Yeah. So art is a way of connecting people together. That's one of the main. Values that Coco Room is founded on. Okay? And. Tarujan! <coughs> yeah, can I also introduce two of today's teachers? And now. Yamachan! And now, everyone's going around. Uh, introducing their uh, artistic nicknames, which we'll be using for the remainder of the session. Okay. Some of the nicknames are really funny. Like one guy just ga gave his nicknames. Uh, he made a nickname after a famous actor he really admires. <laughs> And one woman s said that she, uh, she wants to be Kori-chan because, yeah, it's a hot summer day, and I guess she wants to be ice. Yeah, you know, stay cool, I guess. Right. Uh, yeah. Kuro Megane san. Kuro Megane san. Hi. Hi. Kuro Megane san. Okay. Hi. What was your nickname? Yeah. So I chose a nickname for myself. It was uh, bl well, Kuro Megane san, which means Mr. Black Glasses, I think. Well, because I, I wear spectacles, so that would be funny. <laughs> Everyone remembers my face as having these funny spectacles, so that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now we've been invited to start writing our haiku and the theme is about breathing comfortably. Uh, okay, so I've never written a haiku poem before so this will be a new experience for me. Um, it's a freestyle haiku. It's a freestyle haiku so anything goes. It doesn't have to be good the first time. <laughs> okay. One haiku poem here is made by three people that's the format we're going with today so this will be not not a traditional style but it's going to be fun it's going to be collaborative yeah and i i think more people should try this <laughs> it's great okay, okay. 
Does Yamete Hoshi Dayo make sense? <laughs> stop it, please. <laughs> Or stop it now. <laughs> yeah, but, but that, that's kind of、uh, relating to the first line, right? Anything <laughs> else?、Okay. Okay. It's kind of, you know, think outside the box. Okay.、Yes. So anything、yeah. like what you ate this morning or、okay. something like that.、Yes. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> So, what did you write? I, I, I just wrote is the Kayani no Mu because I really thought of Corona. <laughs>、uh, and I know that it's related, but it's, it's, it's also not. Yeah, I don't know. Is that Kayani no Mu? No Mu. Yeah. You mean, you mean drink at the bar? Yeah. Ah, then is that Kayani de no Mu? De. Oh,、mm. oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that's okay. Yeah. Because it's, it can be really unique. Yeah. Yeah, because I thought of Corona beer. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why I thought. Of, just to make it funny. <laughs> Okay. okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. We're about to just read the poems we finished, and we're going to point someone to praise our poems. And the challenge is you have to give praise to the poem no matter what. So even if you don't quite like it. <laughs> but yeah, it's a good challenge. and pos- Yeah, it's nice to be positive and appreciate what other people made. Anyway, so it's a good exercise. It's gonna be fun. Yes. No negative feelings allowed here. We're just trying to be nice and appreciative as possible. Yeah, it's,、exactly. it's nicer anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hi. <laughs> hi. Uh, so, do you understand?、Uh, not everything. <laughs> so, Nabiku, Nabiku Kami is like, what do you say? In the wind, you know, the、uh, weaving your hair,、uh, and then、okay. you roll on the、uh, floor, and then your hair turns gray. Yeah. I can translate. Okay, so I really like this haiku because it makes me feel like I'm becoming part of nature. Good, yeah, yeah. I want to.、Uh, sometimes I dream of growing old and dying in the countryside to become. Uh, part of nature, so I like this. I know, 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 One more time, please. Ah, hi. Hana Uta Ari no Taigon Mentaiko. Show me your point. Ah, to me. Ah, can I say? Ah, can I say? At the full scale army of、uh-huh. ants,、uh, they are humming and bringing mentaiko to you. <laughs> so it's like you bringing some gift from、uh, far to Kokoro. So, so she's happy.、Uh, yeah, thank、yes. you. <laughs> so, Dan,、okay. how was it? Yeah, that was a lot of fun. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it because it was my first time doing haiku. Yeah, ever. What Kanaya told me about the poem I fin- helped to finish was that it sounds like there's an army of ha- ants humming and bringing Mintaiko to me. So it's, not, it's kind of a nice image and it's really funny, I think. So, yeah,、mm. it was good.、Um, I think one of the 
funny ones I heard today was the sushi one. <laughs> like my favorite is sushi mm -hmm. with my darling. With yeah, yeah. And then my darling is green. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great one. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nonsense is fun to do in, yes. in poetry. I think. Yes. Like, are you looking forward to the second part too? Uh, yes. We're gonna do one more round. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So more. <laughs> Yeah, I just got yeah, an haiku page from somebody and it said earlier, yeah, hmm, drinking sake is my darling, basically. And I, my, my second line that I added was, what's a cat's wish? <laughs> so, because this is what we're doing today. It's all freestyle and random, mm -hmm. so we can be as crazy as possible. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. I think people are having a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, it's a great Sunday for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this event is, yeah, half online and half, yeah, in person. So there's some people attending online, and we try to get their feedback as well. So that's why it sounds like there's a lot of people here. But actually, now it's a hybrid event, <coughs> which is nice. Yeah. Yeah, uh, this uh, event is in the Coco Room Terrace, right next to the open air garden. There's a nice wind going right now. Today was a little hot, but right now the weather is really good and comfortable. So I just got a <coughs> haiku which started with Pinko Iro Sengoku Jidai no. So what that means is it the color pink is the Sengoku era's and I continued, rainy season, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah. Sengoku Jidai, Sengoku era, was known as the Warring States period. And I just thought it was like a really bloody period, so I, that's why I chose my line. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so one of the haiku teachers right now was just reading one of his haiku poem and yeah so he can't speak but the way he speaks is with his eyes so he has a helper who holds up a hiragana chart and he confirms what he wants to say with his eyes that, yeah and the uh, helper just says whatever hiragana uh, syllables he, he confirms it looks like something you need special training for yeah like being a translator for uh, the, the haiku teacher yeah he's got some kind of condition where he cannot really speak but yeah this is how they communicate just goes to show you that everyone is capable of expressing themselves even if they don't have the words that peop uh, people who are able to can he has cerebral palsy and yeah as, and uh, as some of you are aware cerebral palsy is this yeah, condition which paralyzes you and yeah inhibits your speech as well. So that's why there's a spe someone helping him today to yeah interpret for him. It's really what's really amazing about him is that despite his disability, he is a master of poetry and he's respected that way. <laughs> and I think it's very beautiful. The Yay! 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 Yay!
止めたいんじゃなくて踊りたいじゃん。やりきって。OK。Yeah. Nice. When the guys just did the dance for online viewers. Yeah. It was really funny. はい。じゃあ、ダン。Please read your poem. はい。あ、はい。僕のポームは、はい、So my poem says, あ、ピンク色、戦国時代の通ゆですね。<笑>はい。もう一回。あ、ピンク色、戦国時代、通ゆですね。はい。来たー。ーはい。と、渡るさん。はい。渡め。渡めさん。<笑>かっこいいですね、戦国時代ね、なんかこうピンク色、戦国時代でピンク色、ね、あれですね、これはなんか、ちょっと血の匂いがしますね、うんうん、それね、うん、なんか、梅雨ってね、やっぱりこう、しずくっていうか、うん、雨というか、なんかその荒々しさもあったりとか、そのなんか、血生臭い、すごくなんか、その時代をこう思い浮かばさせるような。えー、僕はまあ想像でしかできないですけどそんな匂いとかも感じる句です<笑>素晴らしいと思います<笑><笑>はいダンはいダンはいダンはいダンはいダンはいダンはいダンはいダンはいダンはいダンはいダンはいダンはいダンはいダンはいダンはいダンはいうちの奥様にはお風呂はなかったです。ピンクカラーを思い出しています。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それを感じます。それはい、どうも皆さんありがとう。はい、ありがとうございました。はい、お付き合いありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうね、付き合ってくれて、本当に。ありがとうございます。はい、あの、面白い、いろんな顔見てましたよ、ふーちゃん。ありがとうございます。はい。ありました、ありました。ありがとうございます。また会いましょう。Hello, world. This is Kokoru. So that's the end of our episode today. Let's wrap it up with my impression. So I thought the haiku experience was a lot of fun and I learned a lot about. How you can do haiku in a way that's not traditional, which is more fun for beginners, I think. And it was so great meeting all sorts of people.、Uh, there were people from different age groups. I've even seen a mom and her child participate as Zoom participants, and that was really inspiring to see. So it was nice to have all sorts of generations come to that event and just enjoy themselves. Enjoy the traditional culture and yeah, try to teach it to a foreigner like myself. And I hope people really listen to this episode because that's what organizations like this try to do best. That's to try to teach people culture and use it to connect others. So now tune in for our next episode, which involves me interviewing some of the Kamage people, actually, participants and volunteers alike. They share some of their insights and some history of Kamage as well, as seen and experienced through their own eyes. It'll be exciting, so stay tuned for that. Bye for now. Thanks. <laughs>